Well, my name is Eli Saslow. I work for the Washington Post in Washington, D.C., but I live here uh, in Portland. So I think that day uh, I was working on another story about um, criminal justice reform in California, but I was here in town and I was writing. Um, and I got a call at, you know, early afternoon, I think it probably was, maybe um, 12.30 or 1, uh, sort of um, from my editor who said, like, hey, this thing has happened. Um, I'm sure they're going to want you to go uh, come up with an excuse or be ready. Um, and, you know, then whatever it was, 10 minutes later, um, the national editor called and asked, asked if I could drive down there. Um, so I don't think I didn't go home to get clothes. Uh, I uh, I just got in my car from my work chair. Um, I sit next to like a guy who runs the recycled bicycles company. Uh, talked to him a little bit, told him I was going down there, and then got in the car and just started started driving. That's how the job is sometimes. Um, you know, you, where you think your day is going to be one thing, and then suddenly like you're um, scrambling for like a hotel in Roseburg for for the next four or five nights. But the truth is like. You know, I think, um, and I probably had some natural preparation just having arrived in that situation a bunch of times before. Um, but the first thing I tried to do was figure out, like, okay, where where should I go? Like, where's, um, you know, where's the place where maybe I can uh, do some kind of, of justice to what's just happened to these people and, and try to talk to somebody who has some, you know, who has some stake in this um, or who's been affected by it uh, really quickly. And that's, you know, that's a hard thing to figure out, um, in part because... You also arrive at these things knowing that you know there are hundreds of other people arriving um, doing the same thing. So I learned that um, you know families were uh, were gathering at the fairgrounds. Um, I think is is where everybody gathered in Roseburg, right at the fairgrounds. And so that's where I went first. Um, I just I you know so basically my preparation was I went on Google Maps on my phone and I figured out where the fairgrounds were and I drove there and tried to make a three-hour drive into like a two-hour and 15-minute drive um, without getting pulled over.